Hey guys, what's going on? We're still in lockdown, house arrest, or home quarantine, whatever you want to call it. It doesn't make a difference. But two things I want to talk about real quick today. First and foremost, Streets of Rage 4 is finally released to the public. I had the pleasure of playing this game back at PAX East 2020 before the whole lockdown, and I was given a review copy thanks to Daimu, and I absolutely loved it, and I'm glad to see that everybody is playing this game now, that everybody who's on the PlayStation 4, Xbox One, PC, or Switch is enjoying the game. It's been 20 plus years in the making. I grew up on Streets of Rage, the Sega Genesis, Final Fights, the age, the golden age of beat em up games. And I'm so glad that this game is being reviewed well, received well. And hey, Daddy Moo, Dark Crush Games, Wizard Cube, we talked briefly beginning of this year and we talked last year. I would love to catch back up and do another interview and talk about the, the success of the game. And what's next? Because I know you guys aren't done. You can't tell me that you're done. Again, big props to Streets Race 4. If, you've not, if you have not played it, please go do so. It is a phenomenal game. One for the ages, an instant classic. All right. Now, let's talk about the big thing. So last night, before I went to bed, I stumbled onto a news story that said, Transformers is getting an animated prequel. Okay. Three words. Transformers, animated, and prequel a little more context to this so this movie is being directed by josh cooley from toy story 4. yes so i want to say that this is going to be a good movie and nothing against josh he's a he's phenomenal he's phenomenal however i i'm still still clearly frustrated with the, the, the all of the michael bay transform movies with the exception of bumblebee which i thought was the best one out of all of them now i'm a Transformers fan. I've been a Transformers fan since I was a kid. I was born before Transformers were a thing. So I loved everything. I loved the comic books. I loved the, the animated TV show, even though they had tons of errors. Um, I love the toys. I own a lot of the toys. Seeing that I'm 43 years old, I have a lot of history with the Transformers series. I, and I, I watched the Transformers animated movie. Yes, the one where Prime dies over and over and over. As far as well as Beast Machines and Beast Wars and Cyberverse and the Machinima Transformers and everything, everything, everything good with the exception of some I'm not going to name Rescue Bots. Uh, so I'm very knowledgeable when it comes to the Transformers. So when I found out about this anime movie, I was curious and I started reading more articles about it. And they're saying that this movie is going to take place on Cybertron, which is the home planet of the Transformers. Now, either you can spell it with C-Y-B-E-R or spell with an s i e b e r tron cybertron of the sea is the best it's the proper way stop it and this movie is going to talk about the relationship between Optimus prime and megatron and i stopped for a second because i was like wait 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 how are you going to do that so for those who aren't familiar with the transformers and i i, I don't know how many people aren't but for those who aren't there is history between these two so megatron was made as a war machine he was made to be a fighter he started off as depending on which history you want to follow he started off as a gladiator eventually rose to challenge the political landscape of cybertron or he was just power hungry from the start so they both go into the same path and he eventually ran up to another transformer who was called orion pax Orion Pax, in I believe the comics and also an animated TV show, was a dock worker. And Megatron was trying to get him to tell him where the Energon was. And once the the location of the Energon was revealed, well, he blasted a hole inside of Orion Pax. And Orion Pax was critically injured and was pretty much dying. He was saved by another Transformer called Alpha, Alpha Trion, who ultimately rebuilt Optimus Prime, or who rebuilt Orion Pax into the Autobot. Optimus Prime, Orion Pax, OP, Optimus Prime, Optimus Prime, OP. And then ever since then, Megatron and Optimus Prime had this working relationship where every time they see each other, they want to beat the living crap out of each other. And this continued for hundreds or thousands of years. So the question that I have here, and I would love to know more about this, is how are they going to talk about tell the story 
that revolves around Megatron and Optimus Prime, the relationship between Optimus Prime and Megatron. I mean, how's that going to go? Prime, I'm here to kill you. Oh, you're not going to do it, Megatron. I mean, what are you, what are you going to talk about? What exactly are you going to do? These guys were not the best of friends. These guys wanted to kill each other every time they saw the each other. I, I don't understand that unless this is not going to be something that's canon, which very well could be, which means they're going to change the original story of the Transformers. And I really hate this. Think that's what they're going to do. Orion packs is Optimus Prime. Megatron is always with Megatron. They were never pals. They were never buddies. They didn't go to the movies together. They didn't go to the bar drinking. They hated each other. Well, I shouldn't say hate. They both had different views. How about that? And, and, and it's never clear black and white. Megatron, even though he was portrayed as crazy or maniacal, maniacal, I'm saying that we're completely wrong, he had different viewpoints. And sometimes you couldn't help but to root for him, even though his methods were really bad. But then when you start reading the comics or if you start looking at some of the shows afterwards, you saw a different side of Megatron. He wasn't always trying to do things completely evil, but it came out evil. But there were times where him and Prime worked together, like in the beginning of the trend. One of those, I can't remember the arc in the Transformers anime series where um, Cybertron was coming to Earth. No, what was it? They had to do something. I can't remember now, but they worked together. Prime and, and Megatron worked, or worked together. And then there was a couple of times afterwards they worked together. And if you actually followed or watched the Machinima series, Prime and Megatron teamed up to fight uh, the Combiners, to fight against the Titans. So it's not like they hate each other, hate each other. Prime's the kind of Transformer that doesn't truly hate anybody. He will work with you. He 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 sees he sees the best out of everybody. He believes everybody has a good side. I mean, he's 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 one of the best Transformers ever made, bar none. But he's also perhaps one of the flawed because he will always try and see the good side in you, even if you don't have a good side. He's kind of like Captain America. They're like two sides of a coin. They were trying to see the best in you, even though you may not have it. So cutting back to this movie, I would love to know more about this. Hey, uh, Hasbro, I would love to talk to you guys about this movie. Again, I am a big fan. You can see some of the Transformers behind me. I will say my office has a lack of Transformers. I will say that. Um, I had a bunch of them when I was a child. I had a bunch of them as teenagers, but I had brothers and sisters who broke all my stuff. I am got my own house now. I got my own. I just have not purchased enough Transformers. There's other ones scattered around the room. Obviously, you can't see them, but... Yeah, I, I am a, I am a big fan. So again, when I heard about this news, I was like, yes, yes, yes. We don't know when it's coming out, but it is animated, so that's good. It's not a live action film, so that's going to be great. Um, and also, we also have the the um, the Netflix Transformers animated series coming out in July 2020, unless it gets pushed back. And that's also a prequel. That's also going to talk about the adventures, of the origin of the Transformers on Cybertron. And they didn't say if that's also going to change the original history or not, because Netflix have been pre- has been pretty quiet. Hey, Netflix, I roll out to you guys a couple of times and reaching out to you guys again. I would love to check that out early. I, again, I'm a big fan of Transformers. I know a lot of the Transformers history. Yeah, I, yeah, hit me up. Or any other hundreds of thousands of people on Netf- or Netflix, YouTube, that are fans and historic- historians of Transformers. I'm pretty sure you reached out to some of them. They're probably not going to talk about that until because uh, NDAs know that stuff or bad stuff. But yeah, guys, I just had to take some time out to talk about this Transformer movie. I'm very excited. Um, I guess we have we have COVID-19 to think, even though it's kind of a bad thing to say because the live action films have been hauled up because people can't get through studios. So if they're trying to fast track this animated film. Hey, I'm, I'm all for it. You know, I'm all for an animated, a good animated Transformer film, not Rescue bots, not Cyberverse. If you're giving me Transformers Prime, because it's not gonna be, it's not gonna be hand drawn anime. Come on, we we got, we all know this. It's just not gonna happen. But if you give me Transformer Prime, yeah, Transformer Prime is the best example. I think that was the best CGI Transformer animated series at all. From if you can give me something that's as good as that or better, I'm all in. Give me a great, give me a great compelling story. Don't change up Prime. Don't change up Megatron. Bring back Peter Cullen for Prime. We're good. We are 100% good. 
All right, so that's it. I'm probably going to talk more about this as more information comes out because, again, the Outer Haven is more than just gaming. We're everything. We're gaming. We're toys. We're geek culture. We're movies. We're TV. We're everything. All right. If you like this little rant, you know what? Leave a comment below. I'd love to talk to you more about Transformers. I'm, like I said, I'm a big Transformers nut, go bot nut, robotics nut. <laughs> Anything that's mecha or giant robots or transforming robots, I'm about it. All right. So again, leave a comment in the comment section below. Why not drop a, a, a subscribe to the channel so you can talk to us more. And I will talk to you guys all next time. Stay safe out there. Watch some Transformers animated movies. Stay away from the live action films. And play some games while you're stuck inside.